Hey guys, welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Lost Isle. In the last video, we got the upgraded sword, finally. Uh, struggled through that boss battle a little bit, uh, but I made it out alive. Uh, now we are finally ready to head over to the next dungeon. A um, few things I'm going to do right before then. Um, there is apparently a secret shop here in the Akavir Swamp that uh, I don't remember who pointed out. Somebody pointed out in the comments. So I'm going to go to the secret shop and... Uh, is the right way? Uh, I think so. Um, I can get... Uh, there's a few items for sale in the secret shop. I think you can get a upgraded... Or you can get your shield back. The upgraded shield. Uh, you can get some potion, uh, and I think you can get a small key. I don't remember what the other item was, but in any case, um, I don't have. I used all my potions during the last dungeon. Oh, it's right here. All right, with the diamond formation, they said so. Uh, probably bomb. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So, I used all my potions against that boss in the last dungeon, and, um, so I'm out of potions, but I also don't have a shield. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, ha, ha, I see, I see, oh, that, I thought, I couldn't see that, that you are having some troubles there, boy. But alas, nothing is free in this world, so if you want it, like I can see so desperately in your eyes, then you must pay up the dough. Okay, I can buy a fish here, or bait. I will buy the shield for 400 arrows. I don't know if that's really uh, worth it. Uh, from what I've been told in the comments, there's not that many grasps in the next dungeon. Uh, so it's just a matter of getting to the next dungeon without getting captured. And then I think I'm going to be getting an upgraded, uh, an upgraded shield sometime in the future, hopefully, uh, if my memory serves me well. Uh, anyway, it's time to get back to the wastelands. There's a few ways to get there. I could just play the ocarina. Um, actually, that's probably the most efficient way because there's a there's a pathway that. Uh, or there was a Triforce dungeon, and uh, if you recall, the Ocarina takes you to where all the Triforce dungeon locations are. Uh, however, there's also a one of these guys right here, and uh, I think, uh, I don't remember if there was a location in the Wastelands, or rather, I don't remember where it was. Okay, it's obviously not here. Like, I, I'm pretty sure there was one, but I... Uh, was it these spikes? Let's see, that is probably the woods, Tahu Woods. Uh, what was to the right here? Maybe it was over here. I think that's the volcano, that's the volcano. I'm gonna say it's this one. Hopefully I'm right. If I'm wrong, then bleh. But... No, oh, no, I'm wrong. So blah. Okay, we'll do this the hard way. The problem I hate with this thing is that it doesn't always take you to the. I'm sure there's a like if you face a certain direction while you're at a certain a certain one, maybe it does that. Like, so I gotta get to the wastelands, and so you, you might have to use this four or five times just to get there. All right, there we go. Um, okay, so apparently there is also a secret to get here in the wastelands with these hands. Um, I've fallen down to the, like, level below, like, like the area below, I guess, uh, a few times. Uh, it turns out, uh, this is one of the screens, somebody mentioned this in the comments. You want to fall down in the screen that has the shop. Uh, doing so it takes you to a certain part of a ca of the cave where uh, I'm gonna be able to reach a floor switch which is where is it wait I didn't miss it already did I I think I uh, I already was over there 
Oh, there we go. Uh, secret wall. No. Ugh, I think they're way too sensitive. Uh, so yeah, this leads to a secret area thingy majig, right? Uh, oh, over here. So I was on the screen way before on the right side, but I was never able to make my way up north. But uh, now I can. Uh, unfortunately, I think I have to backtrack all the way out of this dungeon, or this cave. Then I have to get back to the wastelands. And then, uh, even after that, then I have to fall down again, because I don't think I can... I have to get to the right side of the cave, and I can't get there because of that block that's right here. I did a lot of this cave off-screen, just so I know what I was doing. Um, well, not so much that, but, like, in the previous videos, um, I was like, I kept wandering through this cave because I kept getting captured. And I didn't show that on screen, so I sort of have this cave uh, memorized a little bit. But yeah, all right. So we're back here. I'm gonna just play the ocarina to get back up to the wastelands. I should probably. I don't know if it goes like the direction you're facing. It's like the Tahoe Woods is at the top right. So if I go left, if I'm facing left, it's gonna take me to the mountain. Oh no. Okay, that's completely random. So I don't know if there's any uh, pattern to this madness, it's just like the original Legend of Zelda, I guess, where it's just sort of random. But, yeah, it's just kind of annoying, I, I don't know, I don't really like it, but, ugh, like, I think I've been at every single tree except the wastelands here. Come on, you should do it. Not the mountain. <laughs> Uh, the next place you want to drop is one screen north of the tree in the wastelands. Uh, that, that'll take you to a second switch. I actually already um, fell down in here, I believe. Um, but if you haven't... Oh, wait, what was to the right? Did I go... Yeah, I went this way before, I think. Yes, I did. I don't remember what it did, but I think I did it. Alright, uh, let's see. Where am I going here? Uh, to the left. Ah, yeah, see, I stepped on this switch long ago, and that relieved those spikes. So, that's the treasure chest I need to get to, I assume. And, uh, yeah, yeah, this is where the dead end was, because those previous spikes that I just lifted were right over here. So now I can finally make my way up to this treasure chest, and it contains... One of the three pendants from A Link to the Past. <laughs> Um, apparently this is some, like, me where is it? Is it on my inventory? No, it's not even on my inventory. I don't see it. Uh, it's the magic amulet, I think that was what it was called. Somebody called it that on the wiki page. Not exactly sure what it does. My best guess is that it causes me to only use, uh, half my magic meter, I assume. Um... If that is the case, then that's pretty useful, I guess. Although, I'll be honest with you, I don't really use much magic, uh, at least as of now. But, um, perhaps in the next dungeon, I don't know. But, yeah, so now, now, finally, I think that is all that we can do in the overworld. So, I will make my way to the first dungeon, and I'll probably start a bit of the dungeon, because, um, it's not that far from here, actually, so... Um, I'll probably get there in another minute or two, although, assuming how long it takes to go through these stupid warps here. See, if I, f I remember if I was facing left from here, it took me to the wastelands. Okay, so maybe there is some pattern to the madness, but... Okay. Uh, anyway, we want to head to... There was... It was a few screens away from here. Uh, I don't want to get dragged under, so let me be careful here. Um... There was a big block that uh, I previously uh, walked by several times, but I never quite pushed it. Uh, whereas I think it's one screen left of here. Just being a little cautious going up and down so the hands don't respawn. Ah, right here. Yeah. Uh, this guy. I believe I can push this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, like, I don't like. Oh, wow, it only takes one hit to kill the darkness now. 
Uh, it took five hits to kill these things, so... Grass. Oh, boy. Ah, only three hits to kill grasps now. That's very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Uh, I still... I think arrows are still the best way to kill these guys. Uh, it only takes three now. Uh, we got a new enemy there. It looks sort of like a... Uh, there was an enemy like that in Four Swords, the original Four Swords, not Adventures, where Link, or the multiple Links, would grab onto the two sides. I forgot the name of it. Also, sort of looks like the Centrobes from uh, Skyward Sword, but I'm pretty sure this game came out uh, before Skyward Sword. Uh, so, yeah. Ooh, we got... Uh, oh. Well, we don't need magic right now. Uh, can I push this block? No. There's a big red dot over there. I uh, can't get over there. Um, let's see what else we got here. <laughs> These are almost only take one hit, too. Oh, I can use the step ladder here. Let's bust out the arrows. Okay. Uh. Oh, it's just arrows. Well, I can use these arrows now. I, I just wasted 400 of them earlier. Okay, well, let's just go... Can I go everywhere? Ugh. Let's see, what else? Did I miss anything here? Oh, there's a red dot here. Ugh, go back up. There's a red dot here as well. Did I shoot this thing? Oh, you just walk into it. Okay. So, is this a cave or is this... Level 4, Plague Fortress. Sweet. I cannot believe the complete oversight on your part. You fools! Set up remote cameras all around this base. I want to have a close look at what's taking place around here. Just because you never expected a mortal to even get this far does not excuse this complete failure on your part. Until I can finally break this annoying final barrier they put to entrap me in this volcano, I'll need every remote freed I can get to track this bothersome pest that has laid siege to my island. Go now. He bested my strongest officers already. He will probably be here any time now. Make sure he does not leave. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Question mark. Phew. Link just talked. Alright, so... Uh, we are at the next dungeon. Uh, it looks a little more... What are these things? They, okay, they're not war portals or anything. Oh man, I remember back in the first dungeon how deadly these armos were. Uh, oh, it says five. Oh, wait, is that a switch over here? No. Okay, well, let's see. I'm at the... 14 minute mark of this video. Um, let's see how far I get. I, uh, I don't think I'm gonna, this is not probably gonna be a too long of a video. I mean, I don't wanna, um, yeah, that's kind of sweet. <laughs> Treadmill. Um, I don't think I'll get too far, too much further beyond where I'm at right now. Ooh, we've got like, it, we've got lighting problems. <laughs> um, alright, so far this, this dungeon looks nothing like anything we've played so far. I like that each of the dungeons are sort of unique in their own sense. Um, in any case, we have a long... Okay, obviously can I go over there? Is there a pattern to this madness? Uh, Alright, we made it. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of just random exploration to be done here. Ow, 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 okay. Not the most efficient way, but uh, I'm gonna just explore this. Is that an armos token? Huh. 
Oh, it's like following me. I can't shoot it. Let me uh, reset the screen. Maybe I can get down here first? Ah, <laughs> I can just... Ooh. Alright, well I pulled the one. Gate one, status, open. Alright, success. Gonna head down the stairs? Okay, let's... am I in water? What is this? Uh, I'm really low on health, too. Can I push this thing? What is this nuts? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, these guys are no... Oh, are these ones blue? Are these a different color? Can't tell. Um, it, these guys are not that hard. Uh, so far, there hasn't been any... Well, ever since I upgraded this sword, I mean, those only take three hits now, so it's... You know, previously that would be a five-hitter, so... to activate. Uh, nope, nothing. This is, these are some strange looking rooms. That'll be funny if like all of a sudden all of the enemies activate at once. <laughs> Usually that'd be kind of scary. But uh, okay, we're gonna explore this basement and see if it's just like an army of on like <laughs> Just kind of strange. I mean, not, not really many ways to describe it right now. All right, but uh, okay. So there's a staircase I can head back up, but let's continue exploring the basement for now. Um, let's see what's down here. Uh, all right, another staircase. So it looks like I'm gonna be returning to this basement often. Um, info. This is the recovery room. If you get injured in an incident. Step to a flashing health panel to cure yourself. This is the newest and hottest plague technology. Overuse of the panels may cause heart problems or even cancer. Cancer? <laughs> that was my, like if, if I use it too much, do I? Will I start like leaking health as I? I don't know if leaking health is the proper word, but like <laughs> maybe I'll just start losing health. That's kind of cool though. Do I want to head up the steps? What's... Oh, this is back at the beginning. Okay. Uh, well, I don't want to do that first. I'm gonna... Let's... Yeah, I'm guessing the basement's just like a hub. Maybe it's just you come back down to get health. <laughs> uh... Can I push that one? Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, maybe all the switches are like they lead... What does that say? Level? I don't know. It's just this L. Okay. Oh I, oh, I gotta lower two to get through here. Okay. So this is, this looks like it's a gigantic maze of sorts. Uh, so I'm gonna probably be... <laughs> I'm gonna be in this dungeon for a while. So can I push these? Nope. This is, those are one ways as well. Okay, so these are all pathways that just lead back down to the basement. Maybe on the, the, the floors above, maybe. Um, it's probably just, you push the switch on the floor, and then after pushing the switch, you come back down to the basement. So I'm going to go back up the main ladder, assuming that's the only way I can go. And uh, back here. Alright, well, I'm at the... 19 minute mark. I'm actually going to cut the video here because I don't want to get too far into the dungeon and, and sort of just like, I don't want to, you know. Yeah, I'm going to cut the video here. Uh, so I'll be back tomorrow with some more of the Plague Fortress and uh, I will see you guys then. Take care.